Hi, my name is Marlena Muccheroni and I teach high school biology. Back in March of 2020 when we first went remote, I was obviously relying on Google Classroom for submission of my students' work where I didn't really rely on that because I saw them every day and I just made them turn it in or I looked at it physically in class. But when we were remote and I had to collect things through Google Classroom, I quickly found out that there's a better way to do things. And if you are looking to make your life a lot easier when you're collecting your students' work through Google Classroom and then grading it, then stick around and pay attention. This is especially for when you have students do handwritten work. So back in March and April, May of 2020, I ended up having my students do a lot of handwritten stuff on paper and then uploading it to Google Classroom. And the reason for this is because of cheating. I just didn't want students to copy and paste a bunch of gibberish from the internet and submit it and not even think about what they were doing. So um, if they were going to cheat or get their answers from their friends, I figured, well, at least I'm gonna make you physically handwrite them out so you might learn something. Now, when they were done doing their handwritten assignment on a piece of notebook paper, for example, I just, I didn't know better at the time. So I just said, hey, get out your camera, take a picture of it, and then upload the picture and submit it to Google Classroom. But I quickly found this was not the best way to do it. It doubled my grading time because they were just horrible pictures. And I found a better way to do it by making those pictures convert into PDFs and then uploading the PDFs. So let me show you what I mean. This is one of my archive classes from last year. And I'm gonna go back to an assignment that I gave them back in May of 2020. So if I click on one of the students and show you what he submitted, you'll see something like this, right? Here's the picture that he submitted. It's a horrible picture. It's far away. There's a lot of edges. It's not flat. I can barely read it. Um, I, I went at the zoom in a lot. But one thing I want you to notice is that on the side here, I want you to notice these little, this little red icon with mountains, I guess, or triangles. I think they're mountains. That means it's an image. That means that it's a direct picture from his camera. It's a, probably a JPEG. So he had to submit two of them, and so now I have to click on two different things to grade. And if I'm trying to grade this one, I can't read it. So what I would try to do is I'd try to zoom in, and it was really hard to manipulate this picture. Like, it's hard to scroll. It would do weird things. And so, like, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I won't stop that. So I was just fighting with this while I was trying to zoom in on these kids' things because they wouldn't submit them very well. And then I had to click on the second one. And, you know, again, it's just, like, far away. What's with all the random stuff in the background? Here's, here's another one that another student submitted. So this student submitted like it was a three page assignment it was three pages and she submitted five pictures images and they're sideways and it's like a half a page it's like the middle of a half a page they're out of order it's it's just come on it's just disastrous to grade these and to try to zoom in on them it's just not good so once students, once I told the students, hey, this is how I want you to submit them, so they're a PDF, and then you all only have to do upload one PDF document with all the pages in it, students who actually listen to me, they would look something like this. So would you rather grade one of those two students or the students? Where there's one, look at the side here, there's one red icon that says PDF, and it's only one document and all the pages are right here, in order, flat, readable. And if I do need to zoom in on something, then I could just hit the plus mark, and I'm still able to scroll through all the pages and read what I need to. Perfect, right? So that is how I would grade them. If I needed to make comments, you can hit this little comment icon, and let's say that she got number one wrong. I could highlight it, and then over here on the side, type my comment on why she got it wrong. I didn't really do that last year. Um, I would put add private comment, and I'd say just number one, number two. I just thought it, I just thought it was a little quicker at the time. But those are two different ways that you could add comments to their stuff. And then here's another student. I mean, this student actually printed 
the worksheet out and wrote on the worksheet, but some students don't have printers. So I said, just do it on paper. So this girl submitted hers, like I said, in one PDF document, and she wrote it on paper. And you could see, look how nice. I could scroll down through all of her pages. I could read all of her answers. If I need to zoom in because I can't read something, I can. And it refocuses, make it nice and big. If I need to do the comment thing, I could, you know, you know, hey, number one's wrong for this reason. Or I could just hit the, the private comment on the side and type in whatever I want. So which one would you rather grade? It's important that this year, because we're still remote going at the beginning of this year, I'm making all my kids submit it this way. And if they don't, I'm returning it and I will not grade it if they're doing the images straight from their camera. So you may be wondering, well, how do you, how do, you do the PDF thing? Well, it's different with iPhones and Androids, and I made two videos. The links are in the description below, so go check them out. The iPhone uses Notes, which creates a PDF, and then you can upload it to Google Classroom. Androids, they have it installed right in our, the Google Drive. So you open up your Google Drive, you hit plus, scan document, then you upload it. It's real simple, but they're PDFs, which is very important. The iPhone, the Google Drive does not have the scan app in the Google Drive app, if that makes sense. So that's why you have to use notes. So it's like one extra step, but it still works. There are other apps besides those two where you could uh, use the app to create a PDF, but I thought that those were the two easiest ones. So. If you don't want to drive yourself crazy and double your grading time, make sure that if you're having your students submit handwritten assignments, that they take a picture that's able to convert it into a PDF and then upload one PDF with all the pages on it, not 12 PDFs. And I hope your life will be a little bit easier this year while you're going remote. Hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you later. Bye.